the long-awaited first Boeing 777X is expected to enter service with Lufthansa in 2023. Given the amount of controversy surrounding the 777X program, it can feel as if the plane has been around for a long time when it has only recently landed. The 777X is expected to succeed Boeing's popular 777-300ER aircraft. However, the first 777-300ER took to the skies nearly 18 years ago. Obviously, there will be some differences. Do you want to know more? So make sure to stay tuned until the end. Hello there, welcome to Aviation News. To receive new updates about news and anything related to aviation, click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. And in today's video, we'll talk about 777X versus 777. What is the big difference? So without further ado, let's get started. The Boeing 777-300 is a twin-aisle, twin-engine, long-range jet manufactured by Boeing, an American aerospace company. It was the world's first commercial aircraft designed entirely by computer, and it was known as the 777. Super large engines, low-hanging landing gear, and a blade-shaped tail cone with a relatively narrow tail fin are all visible features. Boeing will have stopped producing the 747 by the time the 777X enters service, marking the first time the company has had no four engine jets in production since the 1950s. It'll be at least another two years before any paying passengers can board the 777X. Boeing anticipates delivering the first plane to an unnamed customer in late 2023. The wingspan is the first significant difference between both the 777X and the 777-300ER. The wingspan of both 777X variants is 71.8 meters, which is roughly 15% larger than the 777-300ER. Because the wingspan is so large, the actual ends of the wings must fold upwards to allow the plane to pass through standard gates. Because this new wing design is technically a new class of airplane, it required FAA approval. However, the 777X's innovative wings will provide more lift and reduce drag. This contributes to the 777X's higher fuel efficiency than the previous generation 777-300ER. The 777X is 10-15% more fuel efficient than the 777-300ER depending on who you ask. That percentage may not seem significant, but in the ruthless airline industry, every dollar counts. While the fuselage is similar to the standard 777-300ER, the wings are almost entirely made of composite materials that were not readily available two decades ago. The first 777 took to the skies in 1994, and since then, it has become the cornerstone of airlines across the globe. It can be found flying domestic routes in Japan with 500 passengers in high-density seating, transferring passengers between London and New York with American Airlines and British Airways, or flying 16-hour ultra-long haul flights. It may not be as well-known as the 747, but you have a good chance of flying on one. The three major legacy airlines in the United States have all flown it at some point. Likewise, it's also worth mentioning the 777X engines. A GE9X engine with a 132-inch fan is used by Boeing. Despite numerous issues with getting the engines into service, the FAA recently approved them. The GE9X engines will be the most powerful and largest commercial aircraft engines ever built. Furthermore, GE claims that it's the quietest engine it has ever produced, falling within 8 decibels of Stage 5 aircraft noise standards. Emissions will be reduced by nearly 30% compared to previous versions of the 777. Overall, these engines will use substantially less fuel than the GE90 engines used on the 777-300ER. The 777X engines will be significantly quieter. Pilots will notice improved technologies such as turbulence detectors and enhanced autopilot systems in the cockpit. Wider windows, a wider cabin, new lighting, and new cabin architecture will be the most noticeable changes for passengers. British Airways collaborated with Boeing on the design of the plane and is now one of the leading operators of the type in the world. Because of its outstanding fuel efficiency and cabin comfort, the Boeing 777 has become the bestseller for long-haul commercial aircraft. The 777-300ER has a lot of fans among airlines and passengers, but nothing lasts forever. Its natural successor is the 777X. The 777X has had a rocky start, but Boeing is making progress this year with its test flights. The 777X should be landing at airports all over the world in a few years. It'll be interesting to see how well the plane is received by the passengers. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Aviation News, for more such exciting content. Also, let's know your thoughts and which one is your favorite among the 777X or the 777 in the comment section.